peace and blessings, beloveds. I want to give you an example of a recent uh, situation. Peace, mama. I'm experiencing deep overwhelm, yet in high awareness of what's happening. It's like my higher self is escorting out all remnants of the old self, which operated from hidden fears. And I'm going to respond to that in a video reply. Peace and blessings, peace and blessings. So this beloved soul expressed and revealed that she feels overwhelmed. However, so this is an awakened soul. She she is in observer mode. So her observer mind is seeing the the uh, is experiencing and watching her i would say the lower version of herself feeling overwhelmed and that's not bad or good but in the sense that this awakened soul recognizes that uh, she sees something that doesn't really fit right in the way she is walking in her life in an elevated way however you know, all parts of ourselves, even before being going to a, a spiritual awakening, um, certain things and decisions made prior or even during that awakening journey, a life situation comes up that makes her feel overwhelmed. And it could be from decisions previously made in a particular area of life. And Mama Wanda wants you to know that we all have those types of experiences. It's like we reap what we sow. And so the activity or or the things that happen before crap procrastination or have you leave you in a certain situation where you've got to deal with the aftermath. Don't beat yourself up. Don't stay in that low vibrational state. Ground yourself. Make a choice on how you choose to feel. And so you've got to do some cleanup after the fact. And you're doing it from your highest awareness. Give yourself grace. We are multidimensional beings. We have many parts of us that even though you start to practice living an awakened life, no longer choosing to live from the level of the third dimension that your awareness activates the the energy of fourth and fifth so you want to continue on your path and there's some things that you'd have to clean up that are a result of your previous way of living so pat yourself on the back if you need to rest you rest and then you allow the divine to bring you a new solution because there is a solution for everything and you do have divine support. So for this beloved soul, I want to do an additional, I want to do a reading, right? And here we go. Dear one, when was the last time you couldn't stop laughing or smiling? First of all, shift the mood. Shift the mood. Say, for instance, you're going through something that's pretty, pretty heavy. You don't have any answers for. Um, allow yourself to rest. Take some time. Regroup. Regain your strength in one way is by laughing and smiling. Turn on some comedy, right? Play with the kids or call up a friend. Change the mood. Shift that energy because it's going to help you. To cross that bridge of no longer being in an overwhelmed state. Go back to a moment when you laughed so hard you almost peed your pants. <laughs> Feel the laughter grow in your body. Your cheeks hurting and eyes watering. Maybe there was even a snort or two. Laughter is healing. It reminds us to take life less seriously. And find the joy in the littlest things. Note to self, laugh more often, and then make somebody else laugh. 
as well. Let's go a little bit further. So, the situation that has caused you to feel overwhelmed. Stop a moment and count your blessings. Stop the thought. I have a hack. A hack, a spiritual hack for worry. And it is all about stopping your thoughts. Okay? Dropping the thoughts by erasing them off the blackboard of your mind. And replace it with affirming messages. Recode. Reprogram yourself. Am I on the right path? Well, by acknowledging that you're in the observer mode and you recognize that you're overwhelmed and you no longer want to go the way that you did before in responding to it. Sometimes we second guess what we are doing. We lose trust in the process and question if we are even on the right path at all. Know this. You are on the right path, beloved. Keep going. Keep believing. Keep believing. Keep remembering that you made a soul contract that you are currently fulfilling in every area of your life. And even if you don't, even if you can't see it, that doesn't mean it's not real. Today, search for all the ways you are aligned with your soul's purpose. The signs will appear. And let this newfound trust fuel, fuel your next steps. And Mama Wanda wants to share some additional wisdom, right, with you. About assessing where you are in feeling overwhelmed. Try not to blend everything, all the emotions together. Compartmentalize. Take that, those elements that cause being overwhelmed and put them in its right place. Perhaps it's in the area of money and you're not experiencing what you used to. Sit down, look at everything, write all the numbers, right? Sit in prayer, in receptivity for next steps on every situation. Because you have divine assistance. Then, think about the last prayer answered. Think about the last prayer answered. The manifestations that came through that crossed you over the bridge. From worry to prosperity. Let's pull another card. We're going to do two more cards to help reinforce... To help you remember you're not alone. Here's one that popped out the deck. How can you be more flexible right now? Right? Maybe you're being presented with some solutions. Where in the past you've been resistant. Or maybe you felt that you didn't have what it takes to take the steps. But you do. You do. You can. What are you trying to control? Maybe it's time to let go of old memories, of old ways, of old habits. Maybe it's time to let go. Let love move through you today and trust the outcome will be for your highest good. Remind yourself all day long that you are safe that life is happening for you and that you are not alone. And then go, go do some yoga. And last message is this. Because it's all going to work out. It really is going to work out. You've gotten this far. And so the last message. To where does your soul want to travel? And it may not mean physically traveling. It may be traveling in a new direction of thought. When we travel, we grow. We open up our little worlds to more adventure, thrills, patience, understanding, trust, and oneness. Our hearts and minds expand and our desires are satisfied. Where's your soul calling you to visit? Pick a location 
on your desired list. Choose a date when you will get there and start planning. And again, that doesn't have to be a physical location. It could be a destination in your mind of how you prefer to see the situation. All right? Peace and blessings. And don't forget, ask Mama Wanda. I'm listening.